Hi friends, welcome to Naresh Eye Technologies. Welcome to the sixth session of profit and loss. Now, till now we have solved problems where cost price and selling price are involved. Now, generally profit percentage or loss percentage is calculated in two different ways. First point in terms of money, in terms of money profit percentage or loss percentage is always calculated on cost price. Now, till now in all the previous videos related to profit and loss, we have been discussing these points profit percentage loss percentage calculated in terms of money. Now, there is another way to calculate profit percentage or loss percentage. The second point is in terms of quantity, in terms of quantity profit percentage or loss percentage is calculated on quantity sold. Now, in this session we are going to discuss problems related with respect to quantity. Now, let us start with a small example. A dishonest seller professes to sell his goods at cost price. What is his profit percentage if he uses a false weight of 800 grams for every kilogram? Now, here in this particular problem nowhere money is mentioned. If you look carefully a dishonest seller professes to sell his goods at cost price. Generally, if a shopkeeper sells his goods at cost price, definitely he will not be getting any profit or loss. So, in order to get profit, what is the shopkeeper doing? In order to get profit, the shopkeeper is cheating the customer. Now, how is he cheating the customer? By using a false weight. That is, instead of selling 1 kilogram, he is selling 800 grams. Now, there are different ways to solve this problem. One way is we can solve this problem by formula. By formula it is profit percentage will be equal to error in value by true value minus error in value into 100. Now, if you apply this formula error in value actually the shopkeeper should sell 1 kilogram, but instead of selling 1 kilogram he sells 800 grams that means the error is 200 grams 200 by true value is 1 kilogram that is 1000 grams minus error 200 into 100. Now, calculating this it is 200 by 800 into 100 this is 4 times 25 times. So, answer is there is a profit of 25 percent, but here there is a drawback in using this formula. This formula can be used only if the shopkeeper professes to sell his goods at cost price. Suppose the shopkeeper does not sell his goods at cost price, then this, this formula will not help him to solve the problem. So, how to solve the problem? without using a formula. Now, let us see the alternate method. As I told you profit percentage loss percentage with respect to quantity is always calculated on quantity sold. Now, based upon this point if I want to solve this problem I solve the problem like this. Actually the shopkeeper says that he is selling his goods at cost price. So, definitely he will not get any profit with respect to price. So, whatever the profit he gets he should be getting on cheating that is by quantity. Actually how many grams should the shopkeeper sell? Actually the shopkeeper should sell 1 kilogram that is 1000 grams, but the shopkeeper is selling only 800 grams. So, definitely his profit is his profit would be 200 grams on how many grams this is the point. As I told you with respect to quantity profit percentage or loss percentage is calculated on quantity sold. Actually the shopkeeper should sell 1000 grams, but he sold only 800 grams. So, his profit is 200 grams on quantity sold that is 800 grams into 100. So, 4 times 
25 times. So the profit is 25%. Now let us look into one more example where quantity is involved in solving profit percentage and loss percentage. The second problem, selling price of 25 articles is equal to cost price of 20 articles. Find profit or loss percent in the transaction. Now if you look into the question, selling price of 25 articles is equal to cost price of 20 articles. Once again, we can solve this problem in two different ways. First way, in terms of money, we can solve this. Second, in terms of quantity also, this can be solved. Now let us try to answer this question with respect to quantity in a simple way. Now let us try to analyze the question first. Selling price of 25 articles is equal to cost price of 20 articles. That is the money you are spending to buy 20 articles is same as the money you get by selling 25 articles. So definitely are you in a loss or profit? You can clearly see you are in a loss or we can think like this cost price of 20 articles that is you are giving some money and you are purchasing 20 articles to get back the same money you are selling 25 articles so obviously you are losing so how many articles are you losing definitely you are losing 5 articles now I have to calculate loss percentage loss percentage now profit percentage or loss percentage with respect to quantity because here this loss is 5 articles that is quantity. So loss percentage loss is 5 articles definitely on the articles sold. How many articles are sold 25 so 5 by 25 into 100. So there is a loss of 20%. Now let us look into one more problem of the same model. Now let us look into the third problem. Selling price of 45 articles is equal to cost price of 54 articles. Find profit or loss percent in the transaction. Now if you analyze this problem, you are purchasing 54 articles at the same price you are selling 45 articles. So is there a profit or loss? Definitely there should be a profit. Because you are purchasing 54 articles at some money, to get back the same money, you are giving only 45 articles. So definitely there is a profit. Profit of how many articles? 54 minus 45. So definitely there is a profit of 9 articles. Now 9 articles with respect to quantity. With respect to quantity, profit percentage or loss percentage always calculated on quantity sold. So it should be 9 by quantity sold here is 45. So 9 by 45 into 100. So 9 fives, 5 20s. So definitely there is a profit of 20%. Thank you for watching. For more videos, subscribe at Naresh IT.